Ah, my sweet Gandalf. We got him as a kitten last year. You can see his eyes are still bluey grey here. Isn't he so cute? Oh my gosh, he was just adorable. And of course, he was very playful and spent a lot of time being very active around the house. And he destroyed this cat tube after a while. He still has that little mushroom toy. It's one of his favourites, although most of the stuffings come out. Gandalf is a Norwegian forest cat. We actually got him from a breeder. Normally I rescue kittens, but I just could not resist that little face. I mean, oh my gosh, I just love him so much. And here's what he looks like now. He's so much bigger. He now weighs over seven kilos, close to 15 pounds, I think. And he has a really big floofy tail. He is a big old snuggle bug. He loves cuddles. He's such a gentle giant, although he still has his moments of being rather savage, but most of the time he's just a big soft baby. And yeah, he's really affectionate. Oh, look at that fluffy tail. Always when I'm about to make the bed, he has to be on it. So I just took this photo in the studio and he has now got amazing amber eyes. They are so beautiful. And I'm going to use this as my reference today for the drawing. But I did decide to crop it to make it into a portrait and to cut down on the black background because I'm going to be using colored pencils to color that in and that would just take forever. So I've made this a little easier on myself. Let's get into it. I'm using Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils for this entire drawing. And in my previous video, I actually reviewed the whole set of Caran d'Ache pencils, including the portrait ones, so all 100 pencils that they have in their luminance range. So do check that out if you haven't already done so, maybe at the end of this video. <laughs> I started out with the eyes. I usually prefer to start with eyes because I think leaving empty sockets to do later is kind of creepy and they stare at me the whole time. I much prefer to get the eyes in and they usually take the longest time because I was trying really hard to get the colors right in his eyes. I think that eyes are the most important part of any portrait. If you can get those right, then it doesn't matter so much if the rest of it is not quite accurate. And really the way I photographed this, I was trying to get the light to shine into his eyes to give that amazing amber glow that he gets when the light is just perfect. And it took me around 40 minutes, I think, just to do the two eyes. <laughs> the rest of the drawing was also quite complicated, but that just didn't seem to take as long as that one little section. And I was able to move a bit more quickly. The paper I'm using is Fabriano Artistico Hot Press. It's cotton paper and has quite a smooth surface, although there is a little bit of texture there, so it's great for the pencils to grip onto. And I thought that the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils were excellent for this animal portrait because they do have a lot of earth colors in their range and they're just perfect for eyes and fur and even their little pink noses. Gandalf has a very pink nose by the way so I do let him go out in the sun but not for too long because I really don't want him to get sunburned. So I've been meaning to do a portrait of Gandalf for a long time <laughs> ever since we got him in March of 2020 and I just never really got around to it but the Colour Pencil magazine which I have been subscribed to for quite a while they are doing a challenge I think until the end of the year which is to draw your pet and I just thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do so. You can see I'm going in with that black background and it took ages. What I actually did was go in with some other colors first because if you just go in with a straight black it just takes forever and you get kind of a dull effect so what I did was I went in with a dark brown pencil and then I went over the top with the dark blue. I'm pretty sure this one is Indian Throne Blue because blues and browns will mix together to make a nice grey to black colour. I also did a third layer with Indigo which is even darker and then I blended all together with Odorless Mineral Spirits, Gamsol I'm pretty sure. And you can see I left the whiskers. I tried to color around them rather than just trying to have to add them in later because it's really difficult over thick layers of pencil to add white and I did end up using a tiny bit of white paint pen just to define some of those whiskers but here you can see I'm going in with the gamsole and it really starts to blend it out and it is still quite blue so after I'd let this dry overnight I went over the whole thing with the black pencil and then I got a really deep black 
it worked out well and I'm happy with how the background turned out. I've got so much pencil on my desk which I need to clean off. So I will let you watch the rest of this and I'll show you the finished artwork at the end. Here's Gandalf all finished. I am really happy with how this turned out. The whiskers are not perfect, but I really love the eyes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And I will see you all again really soon in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye.